Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the choir. Baba kse choir dakan. My microphone I am struggling. Yeah. I, can I can I get enough volume? Thank you. That's powerful. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, come on help them. Help them. You hold the hand like that. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, you know we are in Teso. We are still learning these things. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please, all the people that have come for the crusade, you can have your seats. Thank Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you greatly. Amen. In a special way, I would like to recognize our brethren from all believers ministries. ABM, come on, ABM, all believers ministries. Oh, oh, come on, on celebrate. celebrate. Celebrate, Mama. Glory to God. God bless you, Mama. Amen. And Amen. then I'm also seeing a minister from Heothesia. 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 Praise the Lord. Oida Ministry International. So did natural wow. Come on, wave to us, wave to us, wave to us. Thank you, my brethren. Thank you. Glory to God. On Tuesday, we are going to be there. We are coming there. Glory to God. Fellowship. Christ Embassy. Oh, Mama. Come on. Celebrate, Mommy. Glory to God. PAG. All PAG judges. Come on, celebrate. My brother. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Fanero. So the gun left when it so many so left back of my Tony Ari Christo. Thank you, thank you, glory to God. Carries life. Only low motors of my Jara and Agas Christo. Thank you, hallelujah. Light resurrection. Only butos of Toma. Oh, thank you. I see Quarunaija. We love you. Hallelujah. Kingdom Agape. Only butos of Toma. Come back to Amen. Glory to God. Yes, my brother Apostle Dixon is having a crusade there. I also, I also want to recognize the, the partnership that we have with Fanero Ministries International. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then Carrie's life, thank you, represented by my sister there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I also want to honor the manager and the founder of Ariella Stores. If, if you see that deco on the choir, she's responsible. So please get yourself the necklaces, the earrings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also saw some of my two sisters just walking. Celebrate. Celebrate. Hallelujah. We love you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the team that has been so relentless to put this meeting. Together. and to make it possible. God bless you. Celebrate them. The media team, the protocol, the, the transportation team, the pastors of the ministry of Daikasun. God bless you big. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honorable Ketty, we honor you. And I also want to recognize the elders of our church. Yes, Papa Charles. Papa Charles, Papa Charles thank Charles. you. Come on, Bunere. celebrate. celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the woman of God, Diana. Those are the elders Diana of our church. Mami Betty. 
Totoi Betty. Oh, glory to God. Yala Celebrate them. Nini. Hallelujah. Nunu nunu they are the elders of our church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tutereja kati yesu. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can we go to the word? A lot of tutoma kiro tuna kajaka yesu. And today, Ido lolo, the Lord has asked me not to really labor so much. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 So our meeting is going to end a little earlier than our time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The woman I love is also in the house. Yes. He calls those things which be not as though they are. Yeah. Every day I keep looking at my finger like this. Something is about, about to happen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. She, she traveled from Arua to be with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord wants to define certain things in our lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And as regards to the anointing of the Spirit of God. And the Lord told me He is pushing us to a season of bringing us to a timeline where you're going to see the anointing of the Holy Spirit as a lineal gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a lineal gift. So that even when children are born, they are going to be born under the anointing and walk in it as an inheritance. Praise the Lord Jesus. That's why particularly this evening, the Lord has permitted me to impart whoever is hungry because the anointing has to become an inheritance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It has to become a pattern of our lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To the extent that literally you are going to see the evident power of God at work. I'm not talking about in the life of men of God alone. But I'm talking about a place where God can replicate the same grace on, on individual servants of God upon our lives. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you understand that? And how many of you are ready for this? How many of you are ready for it? Glory to God. I'm talking about an experience that literally brings you to a place that individually you can be in a place and men begin to see God on your life. And this evening is really prophetic. Because the whole night yesterday, I kept seeing the heaven of God opened, and I saw the Lord dripping anointing on people. And literally, we are entering a season not just as a region, but as a church as a nation where you're going to see the hand of God in the streets 
In the shops, you will go and buy something, and then the power of God literally visits people. Glory, Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so that's why I'm saying this particular evening is not about how much I owe to labor in the world, but it's to the extent of how much Jesus wants to anoint as many people as possible. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that if it is healing, you are going to see healing in the hands of people. If it is business, it is going to function by the anointing. If it is, if it is marriage, it is going to function by the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. If it is a cancer, even that one he can heal it. So God is bringing us to the place where everything is possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything. Literally everything. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let me explain from the portion he gave me. In Genesis, chapter 1. Glory to God. In Genesis chapter 1. Verse 1. The Bible says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form. And void. And, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And the earth was no more. It was empty. And God is about to move in this location to fill men that have a void in their spirit. And I'm not talking about him filling you because you don't have him. I'm talking about him filling you because he wants to give birth to certain glories through you to the glory of God. I'm, I'm talking about an anointing for men to pioneer things. Not because you're on a certain foundation or you began from a certain individual. I'm talking about an anointing that begins things that pioneers things. Glory to God. But if it is ministry, God can raise a healing apostle or a pastor, a prophet that you have never seen before. Glory to God. I'm talking about an anointing that has to touch you and make you uncomfortable with what you have to bring you to a place of something that he wants you to be a custodian of. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And the earth was without form. There was no tree. There was no landmark. There was no mountain. There was no earth. No gold. No clay. 
no resources God wants to breathe upon such a person this evening that you don't have anything and God is like just release your heart for me and I want to begin from here glory to God Hallelujah. for some of you the things that you never imagined to you are going to be the pioneers of history. You are going to be the pioneers of certain secrets of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You are going to be pioneers of businesses. You are going to be pioneers of school of ministry. You are going to be pioneers of things men never expected in such a land. Glory, glory to God. That's the anointing God wants to awaken us. And it's possible through the Spirit of God. It is possible through the Spirit of God. I'm talking about an anointing that can move a man to a location of people that have had an accident and this man does not have a hand this one has lost a leg the other one has lost an eyeball and God brings you to this location because he has anointed you to create miracles. It's an anointing to pioneer what men have not seen in our land. We have read of stories. I quote from the documentary of Archbishop Benson Andrew Dahosa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One who is regarded the father of the Pentecostal movement One in Africa. One time, they were building Benin University. And they called him Papa. The bricks are over. And we don't have money to buy. And he said, Let me come. And, and when he showed up, Nabunio, he spoke to the bricks that were left. And said, Bricks, multiply and don't finish until the university is done and for as long as the, the builders were on site the bricks were available Hallelujah. Hallelujah. for them to finish the construction of the Benin University structures. I'm talking about such an anointing. Archbishop Benson Edahosa one time again he was called and they told him one of the gentlemen that was constructing for you has fallen from the building and his brain his skull has broken and his brain is outside and then he comes and collects the brain and puts it inside and puts the skull back and tells him stand up I'm talking about such an anointing One time, we were cooking food for certain individuals. So one of the brothers I was working with comes to me and tells me, Apostle, we don't have saucepans that can cook food for these people. And I asked him, how much money do you have in he your hand? He said, I only have 8,000. And I asked him, what do you need? And 
We need three saucepans. We need firewood. The food is here. The ingredients are not around. So how much in total? My brother tells me we need about 450,000. And we, we had in his hand 8,000. I told him go and buy the things And when he went with the 8,000 every time he counted the money he paid for everything he had and he came back with a balance of 170,000 I'm talking about an anointing that can mantle you to create things where there is no possibility at all and you don't have a resource and God can begin with you from there hallelujah hallelujah glory to God our admin Innocent to Shabe innocent. calls me one time and tells me, Papa, I have a friend. We started together and she got married. But for over three years, they have not had a child and they are really frustrated and, and they are not happy I told her put your friend on phone and she puts her on phone and we are together and then by the anointing of the Holy Spirit God begins to speak and after speaking to her Took three months and the, she came to me later and said oh, 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 so, sorry papa she, she ah, conceived papa, oh, 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 she's over three months I'm talking about an anointing that if you cannot conceive the grace is available for you to conceive if your bone has a cancer the grace is available for God to replace that bone if your lung has a cancer the anointing that pioneers miracles is available not only to heal that lung I'm not talking about an anointing to heal men I'm, I'm talking about an anointing that can get to a man and they have cut off his lung and they say you cannot do ABCD because now you're only breathing with one lung and God can give that man another land. I'm talking about creative miracles. I'm talking about an anointing that can find a man without hair here. And that anointing begins to put back that hair there. I am challenging us by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. This evening, God has caused us this evening and he told me my son I am challenging you with the entire body of Christ for something you have never seen I'm talking about such an anointing of the spirit of God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a man of God. Prophet of God. Went to heaven. 
Many many years ago, at one time, Atoma he was driving in his city. And so he came across this mother who had lost her two children. And literally, praise the Lord. Literally, some armed guys with machetes had clobbered the children and cut them into pieces. So the blood was all over. Glory to God. And she had lost her babies. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So he stops by, comes out of his car, and comes to this mother. So, what is the issue? Says so some men came around and cut off my babies into pieces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, No, don't worry, mama. We can fix this. Here. There was no crusade. There was no conference. It was by the road in the street. And he collected the body parts. The, the two children were boy and a girl. He collected the body parts. And blood was all over. And he said, In the name of Jesus, I command this flesh of these babies to grow back into their bodies. And the mother watched. How the Spirit of God began to put back her babies. The head of a girl came to the head of its, I mean, to the body of, of the girl. And she watched blood that had flowed all over flow back into the veins of her babies to the extent that there was no mark left on the table that blood was shed. I'm talking about that anointing. talking about an anointing where your husband can die before you and people begin to run and say we need to bury him and then you say no 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 the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 the women of faith receive their dead back to life a certain woman in India married the Lord spoke to her and her husband and they were in prayer together and the Lord said I am going to do this through your lives and do this through your lives and, and do this through your lives so after God had done speaking to them her husband died when her husband died she prepared his body so the people of the husband came and told her we need to bury him he said no the things God spoke to us that he is going to do my God my God he spoke that he's going to fulfill these things while my husband is still alive so we are not going to have a funeral ceremony we are not going to have burial rites she prepared the body of this man and kept him in the bedroom Three weeks went. The body did not smell. Say, God, I am holding you accountable to your word. I'm talking about an anointing that God has to power 
in our time glory to God that literally something has to grow Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Am I talking to someone here? Am I speaking to someone here? Oh my God, I feel the charge of the Spirit. Am I talking to someone here? I'm, I'm talking about an anointing that can come on a child who is wild and that anointing of the Holy Spirit can arrest that child to walk in the patterns of the Spirit of God. Without Without you using a stick or a wire or, or, or chains. Glory to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about such an anointing. God is speaking to me. Say, son, I want you to speak to the men and women who are pioneers who are going to be pioneers of the things that forefathers believed before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a man of God in those days when the Catholic Church had just been founded. Very fiery man. He had married his wife and he loved his wife a lot. And so, one time, they were to travel on a trip for a group. For a crusade. And so his wife, the tummy had begun to grow. And he said, Dear, we can keep this baby in the realm of the spirit. And he commanded the baby out of the womb of the mother and sent the baby into the realm of the spirit of God. And Told it stay there until so nine months. And the baby kept on growing. And they kept on doing ministry. And they kept on doing ministry. The Spirit of God speaks to the servant of God. Today is the time for your wife to push the baby. I said, Oh, sorry, sorry, dear. But her tummy was flat. They went to the hospital. And when they went to the hospital, they told the doctor, please give us a bed. And they gave, him, gave them a bed. And the baby came out. I'm talking about such an anointing. Yes, I have come to beat your theology. Because there are things you have seen and you have become comfortable. You have seen the lame walk. But you have never seen a man without legs and then you see both legs grow before your eyes and it gives you no appetite to eat food but to spend all your life before God am I talking to someone this Am I talking to a child of God this evening? Am I talking to a mother this evening? Am I talking to the patriarchs of faith and the matriarchs of faith this evening? Am I speaking to men that are going to be like, you know what? We are going to do whatever it takes to see God. We have seen the God of Pastor Chris. We have seen the God of Pastor Ben Hin. We have read of the Catherine Coleman. And many, many more. But I'm talking about mothers who are seated here, fathers who are seated here, you might be 60, but God is saying, I am going to do something fresh with you. I am going to introduce an anointing fresh with you. Something that has never been seen before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
In Genesis, we see Genesis chapter 5, I believe. From around verse 23, speaks of the relationship of Enoch with God. And the Bible says, and God translated him that he should not see death. And when you study from Genesis 1, through all, through all the lives of the patriarchs or fathers of faith he was the only man that tested translations one time we traveled to Entebbe with the son one of the sons and we were coming back I believe we, we had actually gone to Kasubi that's where we were having a meeting and then on our way we went to see a spiritual father so traveling back we were very exhausted he was tired of driving I was tired of driving and then Kanepekanin I helped him to drive. And literally, we are supposed to spend from that turn. You know, Iganga Road, Tororo. Then you turn to the eastern route. To Kumi. That is supposed to take us. That is supposed to take us two and a half hours, possibly. But, but we found ourselves in Kumi. In less than one hour. In less than fifty minutes. Mama in less than 40 minutes mm, someone is like oh my god oh my, oh my god. god yes I am talking to someone here and God told me that is the kind of anointing and a grace I want them to function in because the season we are going to enter the church is going to be heavily persecuted your car cannot hide you but there is an anointing of the Holy Spirit that can carry you or literally make you invisible before me that's what I have come to talk about this. praise the Lord we found ourselves in Kumi in less than 30 minutes how do you explain driving from the corner of Iganga to Kumi in under 30 minutes it's called translation power and that is what we call the redemptive power and that's why God says I will restore all the years that the canker worms at. You understand what I'm saying? Glory to God. You could have lost 10 years. But there is a God who can give you what you should have achieved in 10 years. He can give you in a minute. I'm talking about such an anointing this evening. Oh God help us. One time we were we were about four boys. So we came out of the place we were sleeping. At school. Osomero. And so we're going somewhere to practice math. And then I remember the Lord reminds me. Where is your calculator? I told my brothers, I said, hey, you continue. I'll join you. Let me go and pick my calculator. So I go back into the dormitory. And when I picked my calculator, these guys. We're like in the middle of municipal from here. And they were near the building and the class we were supposed to practice from. And so, I walked. 
But all of a sudden, I found myself entering the door of the class that we were to practice. From. And I sat, and one of them entered and shook me and said, George. Be George. We left you going to the dormitory. How come you're here? Yet we were ahead of you. And then I came back to my senses. And I said, Oh, sorry, hey. sorry, sorry. And I, I picked all my books and I walked out. Because I cannot explain it to them. I'm talking about such an unknown. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. One time, I was doing work in Kumi. And so, I had to drive myself to Soroti. So I happened to pick one of my lawyer friends. We grew up together. And we were just talking. And in a span from Kumi town, in a span of seven minutes, we are in a water checkpoint. And he asked me, Sebo, we just left Kumi. How come we are in a water? What is happening? By the time he was done talking, we were in Jeresa. Seven minutes from Kumi to a Oja checkpoint. And he's asking me what happened. By the time he's finished, he's done asking me what happened. We are in Jeresa. Driving to town. He tells me, take me home. I don't understand what is happening here. Just take me home. Take me home. When he's saying, take me home, take me home. Take me home. We were before his gate. He said, Apostle, what is happening? I said, You see, my brother, uh, there are certain levels of anointing. Mm. I'm talking to someone here. I'm talking to someone here. I'm talking to someone here that is diagonized of diabetes and then God by that anointing can literally ah. because you see let's say for example this day the Bible says this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and make ourselves glad in it, right? Right? That is the day he has created. He created this day on Sunday, right? Now, in, that, in this day, at a certain time, maybe at 11 a.m., you went to the main hospital and then they diagnosed you and found HIV AIDS. They found a heart disease. They found whatever is crazy on your body. And God understands that they found this thing in you in this time in this day so what he can do he can actually carry you outside that day the bible says a man was not created for sabbath hallelujah hallelujah the sabbath was consecrated as a prophetic sign of rest which rest is spoke of Jesus and Jesus says the Sabbath hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's under the control of a man. So he can decide to eat in it. He can decide to work in it. Because we are the masters of every day. 
And so, by the anointing of the Spirit of God, He can take that day away and create another day. I'm talking about such power to the glory of our Lord Jesus. I'm talking about such an anointing that God can literally go into his calendar and say this day is corrupted. Throw it away. And he creates it again. He said this is the day the Lord has made the, the rendering there means God creates a day and then he brings it to you and he says do you like what is in it? He says, I don't like it he puts it out he brings another one so if in this day he created they cut off your leg you can see that day that your leg was cut off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then he brings it to you <laughs> and, and then you reject that day <laughs> that they cut off your leg. <laughs> and God gives you another day <laughs> and then you look at it from <laughs> 6 a.m. <laughs> to midnight and you don't see your leg cut off I say now this is the day he said this is the that's the kind of day you ought to rejoice in hallelujah hallelujah that's why God created every day for your pleasure oh my God That is the anointing the Lord asked me to talk to you about. It can translate your car. It can relocate your house. It can relocate your compound. There's a man of God in Serere. In Serere. Some guys, one time, thought he was a witch so, so they wanted to kill him so when they came to his home as they approached the bush appeared when they returned water was all over they could not see why? because the spirit of God can literally hide your house in another creation for you to escape death certain men a certain young lady her daughter was diagnosed of a heart condition with the holes and, and so she brings the child for service and the anointing of the Holy Spirit seals the holes of the heart and certain men were not happy with me because God had healed the child whole glory to God Hallelujah. without us charging any money because in our ministry we don't charge people for deliverance we don't charge you money to receive healing or to, to see a pastor. As long as a pastor is available, you can see them free of charge. And so these people began to look for us during the Paran during night. So one time they came at our gate. When they came to our gate, they saw a tall angel. Tall, tall, taller than that light. With a sword as long as from here up to where the machine is. And they passed. When they passed, one angel was guarding a gate that Apostle George stays in. 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He lays me on green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. His rod directs me. His staff comforts me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because he's with me. He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies and he causes my cup to run over and surely goodness and mercy Team. Follow me. Those guys passed the gate. They saw a tall angel. When they came back, I said, Let's go back and check. When they came back, the wall of our fence was not there. The houses, the houses where we are renting were not there. I'm talking about an anointing that can hide. Your house, your money, your phone, your wife, your child, and the enemy is looking, but they are seated looking you. Looking at you. That's an anointing I came to talk about. This Praise the Lord. And that is what the Lord sent me to tell you. This Praise King Jesus. Jesus. And they looked for us during day, Paran. during night. Uare. During day, Paran. they would put spies and we would walk with the sleepers. And people would meet us and tell us, Papa, you are smart. In that time, we would not comb our hair. We would not put on perfume. We behaved like homeless men. But we can enter location and men tell us, You are looking good. You are smart. There is an anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came to tell you about the Lord. I came to tell you about His power. The Bible says, Our Lord Jesus Christ was in the temple. I believe in, in Luke. Praise the Lord. Where he read a book that was delivered to him. And he went to a portion that was written of the prophets concerning him. And he reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring freedom to the captives. Preach the gospel to the poor. And then he went on. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I want to finalize this. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Luke, Luke 18. The, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Someone say amen. Verse 19. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Verse 20. Verse and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 and he began to say to them this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears meaning every day of your life the scripture concerning you 
God has written concerning you has to be fulfilled whether the devil wants it or not glory to God verse 22 hallelujah Hallelujah. and all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth and they say is not this Joseph's son 23 and he said unto them you will surely say unto me this problem. physician heal yourself whatsoever we have had done in Capernaum do also here in like thy 24 praise the Lord and he said unto him uh, he said, very I say unto you no prophet is accepted in his own country 25 hallelujah Hallelujah. but I tell you of the truth many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias or Elijah when the heaven was shut up three years and six months when great famine was throughout all the land 26 hallelujah hallelujah but unto none of them was Elijah sent save the widow at Sarafeth in the city of Sidon or Sidon Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see here that this man is anointed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's anointed. Prophet Elijah is anointed. And he has, he has an anointing that can literally shut heaven for three years and six months praise the Lord glory to God three years and six months he carries such power when you read in Matthew concerning the same portion I believe after which when Jesus Christ gave them back the book the Bible says they threw him out of the synagogue Jesus was put under church this point You think you're the, you the first person to be put under judgment? The Holy God was put out. And not only was he put out, the Bible says the whole mob brought him to the edge of the cliff. And they thought to throw him down. And the Bible says and he turned himself and walked through the crowd. Let me have three people here. Three people. Three people. Follow here. Come. It's okay. Even if four come. So. Stand here, Mama. Face the crowd. Face the crowd. I want you to. Uh -huh. This is the edge of the cliff. Move. Move. So, the, the they brought him. A guru to to the edge of the cliff they should have pushed him down but Jesus because he was standing like this the Bible says he turned and walked through the flesh Luke 4.29 29. and rose up and oh, thrust him to out of the sea and led him to the bro, to the edge of the hill where around their city was built that they might cast him down headlong with his head going down verse 30 what does it say but he passing through 
The midst of them went his way. He did not tell them, hey, don't throw me. I won't come back to the church. No, He turned and walked through each flesh. He he walked through every flesh. The Bible says, when he rose from the dead, his disciples were closed in the room. He did not come through the door. He went through the wall. I'm talking about an anointing that is going to translate you through every impossibility. That's what God sent me to tell you this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have tested a bit of it. And he promised me this afternoon. He said, my son, I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. Stand up on your feet. Stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for that anointing? How many of you are ready for that anointing? Give them the people on live stream. Lift up your hands. Pray to God. Lift up your hands to heaven. Pray to God. Pray to God. Pray to God. Give God thanks. For such an anointing. For such an anointing. For such an anointing. For such an anointing of the Holy Spirit. For such an anointing. For such an anointing of the Holy Spirit. Whether you came and you're sick, I put your deck, lift up your hands. The Lord will touch you with a power that has to consecrate you a possibility that you have never walked in your life. That if persecution comes, you too can walk through those men. You can walk through a wall. Ah. Pastor Benihin. Benihin. One time he was praying for service. And it was a time for him to be on the pulpit. And he had, he had delayed to enter the car. So he came out of the, of the closet. And the Lord told him, walk to church. And he walked through buildings. Cars kept on passing. But he just walked through it. And he appeared on the pulpit. And he began to preach. When he was done preaching, he went back. I'm talking about such an anointing. An anointing that is going to pioneer things. An anointing if money is made out of trees and the spirit of God made a tree God can vomit money out of your mouth because if it can come out of the mouth of a fish you can say dollars and your words are framed into it and Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Lift your hands. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Prove it to them. Consecrate them. I am seeing an individual here. There's a prophetic mantle coming on you. And it's an ancient man of a prophet called Kenneth Yagin. And that anointing and a mantle that anointing and a mantle 
is coming on you now is coming on you now by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm seeing a prophet with an anointing and it's an ancient oil that God wants to raise in this land and now is the time for that mantle for that grace for the spirit of God to function on you receive it wherever you are in the name of Jesus receive it wherever you are keep praying keep praying keep praying keep praying Jesus Put one of your hands on your head like this. God. 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 is calling out from God. Yes. Anoint him. That mantle. In the name of Jesus. Help me with this child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My God. I'm a maso of a kid. Mahozo Gove. Mahozo Gove. Yes, I see it. I see it. It's, a Kenneth. it's an anointing. It's a right. Justin, receive it. Receive it. Justin, receive it. I know what I'm talking about. Receive it. Yes. 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 My God. My God, I need some light here if you can. My God. Yes. Brother Moyo, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. By the power of the Holy Spirit. It's an anointing. It is mantles. It's a prophet. To receive it. In the name of Jesus. It is your. Catch your own, catch your own. Glory to God. Your own. Catch your own. Oh, Receive it, lift up your hands, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. My God, I see an Receive it. Oh, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I you. see someone here. There is a grace being put on you. The groanings of prayer. And oh, I lip. Groanings of prayer. I lip. Like someone laboring. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Lift your hands. There's a prayer mantle coming on you. I need an There's a prayer mantle coming on you. I lip. There's a prayer mantle coming on you. I lip. My God. Yes. 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 Yes.
Ela ama Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ela ama Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ela ama Jesus. I'm seeing someone here. Asese ni bobongi chetu wana na ne. Waiting for creative miracles. Eja nyonyo ikinyo na swamu au mono pila. And you're going to feel your fingers like they are painful. Ipuni ya ipubi kono boko na subi just malere yebete. Like your bones are rattling. Bala kona kuje eruosi. Yes, it is you I'm talking about. Rai jonge senera. Receive it. Jau. Wherever you are. Ane jau jokere. Part of the Holy Spirit. Oto mapere na kemo lo kala. In the name of Jesus. Okay, look at yes. My God. My God. A decade. My God. A decade. My God. A decade. My God. A decade. Receive it wherever you want. In the name of Jesus. Okay, look at yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're sick, arise and come. Lift your hands. If you're going to die, come. Wave your hand like this. If you're sick, arise and come. Jangan berjaya kau nak kau nak naik. Kau tak boleh. Come. Ubiang hari ni. Ane jai jo biang arene nare de kajo. Come, come, you see, come. Be able to get out of the car. Your healing is free of charge. Come. Nara ngale we rati time. Come, come, stand in the light. What about the Sokoro ne pepe? Don't fear. This place, just stand on it. Kunyo to get ashes. You're talking to me, Lou. Can, can you direct them to stand? Kunya sit on Lilo. You sent your one and heal my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Hey, you are the Lord. Are there more sick people? Jabo bichera de kasele saldos ko. Someone find out from them what the issue is. Gentlemen, let's know what you need. Celebrate. And no one wants to take a Jesus Christ.
ya uno que lo cae Some testimonies here. Can, can we receive maybe one testimony? Or two? Oh, where is that mommy of mine? The one that I will be heal toto, yeah. of hypertension. Who is she? I be ya toto ya. Oh, she's blessed. And then mommy, the one the Lord healed on the, the knees. Help me with this child, please. Then toto na kungin. God bless you, bless you, bless Sir, you, bless you. you. Celebrate Jesus. And and Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, she's here. Yeah, it's oh, oh, glory to God. I boost from Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I want her to tell us. She says she's been going through it for one year. And it's, it's, not there. Only more corny. it's not there. Come, come, mommy, come and stand here. Very young, Irene, to yes, it, it, tell them. I've been going to the hospital. I went to main hospital here in Soroti. In Los Angeles, we saw the kids at the kids in Apollo. No Sorota, ne. They diagnosed me that I have the problem of the knees, the bones. No, I couldn't even speak just because I don't know. I walk the pain a lot. A lot of things in my body is a problem. Squatting is a problem. I could come in the right units, but today I've tried to stop. When you lolo, I could come in just because I don't know how to carry it. Thank God for that. Come and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for coming to this humble crusade. Amen. Let me hear from mommy. Let me hear from mommy. Mommy, just a moment. Come. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's someone here. There, there is an issue happening to one of your eyes. You know, instead of you seeing clearly with both eyes, there is kind of, you know, like the wari wari jakong adope. You feel like one eye is blind. Some, sometimes it comes and then it goes. It comes, then it goes. If, if, if it is you, run here. Yeah. Run. Come and share with us your testimony. Come and share with us your testimony. Come and share with us your testimony. Praise God, Jesus. Come and share with us your testimony. Come and share with us your testimony. He was, he was praying for the sick. I am an unknown hypertensive. And then pressure. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. It says that the Lord is not Kiona kirongo no karungo ni lukumi yare kedi tomana kanya ngo. Kanya utale mo kedi kia kio neta. Ilikle mnye si kia kio no karungo. No bi ani waron tu ngaba ele pabunga chuma munga lo silolo. Yesterday when they called the people to be prayed for, she said I will not go today. Pabunga chuma balo se ngoko i my healing. And she said that my healing is the next day, which is today. Even today, while they were oh. preaching, she was seated at her gate. So she said that I will wait for the time of praying for everybody, then I go. So she first stood on the, around the, the road there. When she felt like the road was hot, she came closer. While she was standing there, she felt like something was beating her back. Then she had some chest pain. Man of God, so she had a man of God saying, "Let's pray. There is healing." When he said that, let people come in front. She started. She just ran from there. She was feeling like she doesn't want to be with other people. 
But she realized that she was in front here. While she was coming, she was feeling a lot of back pain. Usually for her, when she stands, she feels like she's carrying a heavy weight on her back. And she feels some sharp pain running from the back. So they told her, when she reached here, she felt the Lord saying that today you're getting your healing. And I believe in Jesus' name it's done. Glory we to God. We give God, God all the glory. Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Yes. She has her son here. Four days ago he was sick. And he has been passing blood in the stool. When we took him for investigations, he has an ulcer in the duodenum. Since I'm born again, I believe God has while you were calling me I had gone to pick him because they were watching football at home and I became tough to him I told him I'm tired of buying I grabbed him I said I'm tired of buying medicine and I'm going to give a testimony of his healing when you come and celebrate Jesus come on celebrate Jesus and you come and celebrate Jesus come on celebrate Jesus come on celebrate Jesus hallelujah hallelujah now hear this Yes. Hear this. I don't know for some reason the Lord just told me, call that mama back. Mama for Jenny, some reason. So, I, also, I also didn't know that he had gone to share it to my brother. Now, now, do you want the Lord to heal you? No. You want it. Now, this is what we are going to do. Now, please, eh, I am instructed. Eh? We don't sell heal, um, anointing oil or anointing water. Without. The Bible says, the Bible says the Bible. God did unusual signs and miracles by the hand. In the book of Acts. Are we together? So give me a bottle of water. You want to address that issue. Exactly that one. Exactly that one. Stretch your hands. Listen to me. This water is not anointing. But I'm using it as a contact to get to his tongue. Nello mareta koi kike the anointing Hallelujah. So lift up your hands. Heavenly Father, we decree and declare that the anointing of the Spirit of God travels through this water to heal his digestive system entirely. In Jesus' name. Drink all of it. You feel pain here. You drink, drink all of it after which you're going to justify. Hallelujah. Mommy with a blood eye, please come. come. We cancel this. Your eyes will not go blind in the name of Jesus. From now, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, honor the Holy Spirit. Honor the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, even you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The same measure of the anointing. Restores your eyes. Restores your eyes. Restores your eyes in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Never to go blind. There's a, there's a young lady here. It's, it's like when it comes to giving birth. Okay. You get challenges here. I'm hearing the Lord telling me He's readjusting your pelvic bones. The next time you conceive and you push the baby, you will not have that experience. Never again. I, I feel Mambobo. That, I feel that ladies here. Please come. Can I just lay my hands on? Please come. Please come. I feel that person is here. Please come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Please come. Come. Come, come, come. Sometimes you feel pains around here. A like cutting pain. Come. 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 Celebrate Jesus. How are you feeling? No more pain. <laughs> Please come here. How long has it been there? You have to operate you. But God is telling me, He's readjusting your pelvic bones. The next conceptions, you are not going to be cut. You will tell a testimony. Look at me, look at me. Stretch your hands and we stop this meeting today. Stretch your hands. Are you a miracle person? Stretch your hands. Jesus, Say, Jesus, yes. I receive the word you've given me now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Seeing an adjustment in our You cannot talk about the creative power and God does not demonstrate. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're there and you've never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you want to receive this Jesus, please come and receive it. Come and receive it. There's someone here. You normally go through pain here. On your back, on this side, the Lord is healing you. The Lord is healing you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is healing you. He's healing, you. He's healing you. Now. He's healing you now. Here, here, here. Like cutting pain. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. If you want God. to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, raise your hand wherever you are. I see a hand behind there. Celebrate Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now, I'm your child. Jesus. Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Yes. Let's take an offering. Put the basket here. We take an offering and then we go. Your businesses are blessed. Whatever you touch is blessed. May you own businesses in dollars. May you own properties, I decree and declare. May this city be open for you. May you own supermarkets. Cars. Lands upon lands to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, the offering is blessed. Amen. Amen. You can give offering and we go home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to honor all the people that have been here together with us. From day one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's someone here. Every time you go and sleep, you go through pain on your neck from the lower part of the neck here. Oh, my sister Diana is here. Come on. Hallelujah. Good to see you, big sister. Glory to God. That's my big sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good to see you. Amen. Amen. You, you go through pain on your lower neck here. Come, come I pray for you. 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 Come I pray for you.
Baba, God bless you for coming. Yalama Munere, we have our services. Yes, I in primary school. And you know, we are working hand in hand with our brother here. We would love to do our services of Wednesday here. So that we receive the Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Blessed Easter. See you next time. Love you all. Amen. 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 We have a program with Voice of Tesla every Saturday from, from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. with Apostle George. The one talking to you is going to be Apostle George. George. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have our Wednesday services. From 5 to 7 that and we are going to be here. So on Wednesday we shall be here. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Amen. And then on Sunday, from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. We have service in a kissing prayer. Glory to God. You have anyone sick? Bring them. Anyone who has just bring them. Yes. Yes. God bless you. I saw Papa Panero, Papa Daya,
Neja Isila Susan Neja Isusa Yes to Sharon Neji Sharon To fit Neja Isila My God I see I see angels there I see angels there Take this part away I just see, I see angels, I see angels. And then you might have been here and you're telling me I'm promoting these women. But I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I see angels here.
for me that young lady ya tbere so ngapese na didingin what is patience ai bo bere jai ko ku patience oya 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 lift your hands ikia kona kanu ni kutu the lord says you shall serve him e bala ja kai kuna jana kiringes you shall serve him ibune jana kiringes lift up lift up ikia utungesi kuju lift up by the hands by the hands lift up by the hands only the hands yes you shall serve the lord and you'll finish school well yes you are a daughter of the most high god you will finish school well i put an anointing on you that will lead you not in the wrong places in the name of jesus okay look at jesus my god you shall serve the lord bune jana kile de say the lord vale de que con él by the power of the holy spirit toma pero na que muero calaona and i literally see the anointing of god change your legs you will not go to the place as se se nga yo que na que de que na con que llama una no está voice na rompo con la yes creo lo que yes never mambo bo and the devil will not have you mambo da bajo que tinha and you will finish you everyone that gave to akere lo poto kora blessing of god goes with you are re una kede ke lo sikere the increase of god goes with you anyanyar na kede ke lo sikere in jesus name okere lo ka yes amen amen i put this moment and those on live stream they receive the same portion munda kere le ja si to mo la go i ja utes do kere lo ka yes amen 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 Isirenge jakate esi 
whatever you touch he will touch it with you and he will advantage you and may God grant you all the desires of your heart in his name thank you for being patient with us loving us God bless you can we celebrate them amen 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 may you receive another child amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. There's someone, you know, they engage on you and then it disengages. It comes, disengages. Glory to God. And actually, our brother told us we can come back here and do weekly services. He told us. This is it. This is it, my sister. We will come back. Glory Glory to God. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. Even, even our mothers who are there. If anyone is sick there, come and pray for you. Anyone sick? Oh, good, good, good. Please just Honorable from Anyara, God bless you. I to enter the parliament. God bless all of you. Bless the works of your hands. Bless, Bless your marriages. In Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. Tejonge koni de kade ki dari tengo ti kolenga tuanda e kade ki abeiti tejonge koni de kade ki dari tengo ti kolenga tuanda e kade ki dari abeiti tejonge temele kade ki dari tengo ti kolenga tuanda e kade ki dari tengo tejonga wajada e kade ki dari tengo ti kolenga tuanda e kade Dari te yo ti kolenga twana Bye, 